Dacia has revealed its all-new third-generation duster, which moves across to the same CMFB platform that underpins the Renault Clio. The subcompact SUV looks more rugged than its predecessor with latest styling language, looking like a smaller version of the Bigster concept. The generously sized skid plates and the characteristic snorkel on the front doors communicate the adventurous character of the model. It adopts a Y motif for the lights and has the rear door handles integrated into the C-pillars. Inside, the hard-edged design language continues into the duster's durability-focused interior with a color-contrasting dashboard panel and a chunky steering wheel featuring physical buttons. The new duster introduces a digital cockpit comprising a 7-inch digital instrument cluster and a 10.1-inch display for the infotainment. The most powerful version of the duster is the Hybrid 140, comprises a naturally aspirated 1.6-liter four-cylinder engine, dual electric motors, a multi-mode gearbox, and a 1.2-kilowatt-hour battery with a self-charging hybrid system and producing combined 138 horsepower. Dacia also offers the TCE 130 with a turbocharged 1.2-liter three-cylinder. It featuring a 48V mild hybrid motor and a smaller 0.9 kilowatt hour battery makes 128 horsepower. Last but not least, the entry-level duster comes fitted with the turbocharged 1.0-liter TCE 100 by fuel motor that can run on both gasoline and LPG. This setup allows the SUV to travel up to 808 miles. The LPG tank is located under the boot floor, so it doesn't compromise the cargo capacity. The new duster also offer optional all-wheel drive version, has five selectable driving modes and ground clearance of up to 217 mm. Dacia has yet to announce pricing for the Duster, but CEO Denis Laveau promised it would start at less 22,000 in Europe.